And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Forest Village. What happened to my road in here? Did that road get cleared out because of the terraforming I was doing? That seems to be the case. So let's, uh... Put that back right away. Look at all the people going in and out of this barn. It's crazy. Nice main road we got going on here. Uh, it's kind of, you know, broken up and here and there, but it'll eventually be, you know, in 200 years, it'll be Broadway, you know, Main Street. It's the start of something like that. So I think everybody's going in there for stone, I want to say. So I would like more stone. Uh, so we have... Goods for sale, logs, and we want stone. So what happens? 4,000 logs for only 600 stone? Really? Hmm, interesting. Uh, all right, so let's get some more paved roads up in here. We're going to come out. Because this road, we need to connect. For some reason, they're not quite connected right. sure if that was a derp on my part, but it's almost like everything shifted over one. Got a lot of people using that little throughway there. Okay, that's officially good. Okay, so we got a nice big area, well, medium-sized area. It'll, it's going to fill up fast. Um... Nice tavern right here. So let's, uh, before winter hits, I want to get the road in. Because it's nearly impossible to uh, place place these roads uh, during the winter. You never can see what's going on. Once the snow flies. Tough to see. Okay, we're going to, yeah, we're going to drag this all the way all the way out assuming there's probably going to be houses if they if they'll fit assuming there'll be houses along here so let's go ahead and put some in of course we need small houses here or we could do big houses but just not have them sideways could do them long ways but essentially, I mean, you you can pit basically the same same space, small house to the big house. It's just the big houses have. Holy cow! Is it dark? Wow. Okay. So that is the front entrance. Yeah, I can't I can't see a darn thing here. Uh, let's see. You know, they make this game really atmospheric. But on the same note, they made it really hard to see certain things. So I want one right there. And right there. And behind here, I mean, that... 
it's kind of dead space, but once upgrade, I mean, that's 24 people right there. That's, that's not bad. Okay. So far, so good. I think we'd probably be able to put a house right over here. Probably put this sideways. from the road one. Okay, so that's the front stoop. We'll give them a little road, why not? Yeah, there takes a takes quite an army of people to build those roads up. I mean, it's it's an impressive amount of work. Uh, okay, so now that these are ready to go, I want to put another layer of houses, just like I did here, uh, over on this side. So, with the late fall uber bloom that we've got, it's going to be it's going to be iffy. If we're going to be able to see this process, but okay, I want to make sure these have the smallest footprint that they can. Okay, so like right there, that's as small as it's going to get. And I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to move it up. Hey, finally a stonemason dying of old age. It's about time. Okay, right there. Oh yeah, lots of houses. We're going to have bakeries and all. I mean, we're going to have so much in industry over here. Let's make sure, yeah, we got to make sure the front stoops match up. Otherwise, bad things. Okay, let's give them a... Probably do one more. The and all the all the red all the reserves are all good to go. So we want roads in between. Not sure if it matters or not, but you know, we gotta have gotta have some roads. Especially this main through fair here. Gotta Gotta have Main Street. I could probably put in a a tower somewhere in here to sort of protect people. Well, we've got a lot of other infrastructure that has to be done. Um, and I want to try to catch these houses to upgrade them as they finish. It might actually behoove me to add in some stuff, add in some stone, infuse some stone into the system. Let's look at our resources here. Stone, no. stone quarry. Yeah, there was this little patch here, but I've sort of negated that by building over it. There's just so little around here that I kind of want to get rid of these shacks as well. It would be nice to get rid of those. Okay, so now bakery action. Uh, we want 
We want some good bakery action in here. So, let's see. Well, I did. I built that right up to the edge, didn't I? So we're gonna go all along this side. We need to hook those up. Okay. Yep. There's one gap there, and these are all done. So yeah, that's a lot. Of, I mean, that's a lot of stone naturally but uh it'll, it'll be worth it oh this one's almost done i want to upgrade this one even though we might not have the stone i still want to upgrade it before anybody moves in so you got four workers on there it it builds relatively fast if you catch it at this stage, uh, you usually can. Pause the game, upgrade it, and then you can unpause. And that allows you to build it. Of course, there's nobody there, because as soon as the workers were done here, they were assigned to one of these. But uh, it allows you to, you know, upgrade the building without rendering anybody homeless which is kind of important so they're busy dropping off all the goodies over here consuming a, a large amount of clay yeah all of our stone is pretty much gone okay, everybody needs to work hard so we can get these done I need to max out stone. Yeah, I was really, really tempted to get the mod that eliminates the the accidents in the mine. Because you'd think, you know, after so many people die doing something in a mine, you'd think that, you know, people would be wise of, of like, okay, let's not do this anymore because we've had 30 people die doing that one job. So maybe, maybe update your your safety protocols or something I don't know do something to uh, protect people's lives that might be wise pause upgrade. okay let's go to the stone quarry here so you only have 10 let's go to 12 actually There. I thought it, I, yeah, I thought you could. So it must have been opposite. Current people in the building, max people in the building, max people in the profession. So that works out. Oh, yeah, there's this house here. I almost forgot about this house. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Did I, did I actually max this out? I did. It's a little far from from a massive amount of housing, so people might not like it. Pause. Upgrade. Do I have a caravan set up for stone? I don't. So let's go down here. I actually want to. Let's uh. To our logs to stone. Uh, Forty fifty. Watch our stone now. Boink. There it goes. How about our wool? Sixty four, sixty seven. And we've got even more. And charcoal, do I uh, kind of, yeah, let's trade our charcoal away. Uh, charcoal to stone, to 
66. Well, that's not that's not worth a whole lot. Okay. Vegetables, yeah, 908 vegetables. Two stone. So, 908. Oh, look at that, one to one. Nice. All right, so now we have quite a lot of stone in here. We need to move this stone out. So I'm going to add oop, a stone from the market up to this guy. And all. We just want to move all of the stone. All the stone. Uh, oh, this is late fall. Yeah, we are maxed on grains. Cabbage is harvested. Oats. Everything is looking okay. I'm glad that thunderstorm was short-lived because, oh man, you know what I forgot to do? Upgrade. Looks like there's nobody living there yet. That's nice. They must have, like, just finished. Like, really just finished if there was nobody living in there yet. Uh, okay. I've still got a ton of workers. I, You know, I've got enough people. Let's bump builders up to 30. That way we can get these projects done a little bit faster. Of course, probably most of the people that are up here right now are builders. And I've just, I've learned something, uh, and, and this may not be apparent, you know, immediately apparent when you play the game, but each slot in a house, let's go to a regular house, each slot in a house is basically a uh, unique person, basically a household. So each person, uh, you know, they don't, like in Banished, I know houses were actually occupied by couples, and couples would have kids, and so on and so on, where this is just, you know, any any female living in a place can become pregnant at a certain point, and, you know, you can, you don't have to micromanage, so they, you know, the jobs switch around, everything sort of, sort, sort of switches around, uh, you know, as as the city develops. So right now, a lot of these are all builders because we have all of this project, all of these projects going right now. And, you know, once we get more bakers over here and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, there'll be a ton more, uh, there'll be a bunch of bakers and some, some forester people and uh, farmers and stuff like that. Okay, I actually I actually don't want this barn here anymore. I want a castle barn. And we are slowly loading this up with stone. Hopefully we are emptying this out. We've got so much we got like twenty thousand wool, so yeah, that's a good it's a good thing to uh trade away. Don't need it. Okay, this is just about done. This is just about done. I've settled, you know, on playing 2x speed. Uh, 5x is a little, you know, it stuff happens fast. Uh, 10x is just ridiculous. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. I love how many different stages there are to building. It just really gives a great sort of authentic feel to the to the whole the whole process so this is the next one oh there is the snow coming in okay and this one spacebar by the way pauses the game
So that was a neat little thing I discovered. ZZZ, no resources for production. What are we out of? Iron? Ooh, yeah, we are out of iron. I'm going to need some more iron miners. Okay, so where's our iron mine? Oh, man. Uh, ore mine. So we are going to max that out. Stone mason. Oh, yep, yeah, miner. Yeah, the, the number of deaths that occur uh, is just a little... It's it's a little nuts. Mm -hmm. I've also increased their carrying capacity, so... Mm -hmm. not so derpy anymore. So yeah, people can hmm. carry more. And donkeys can carry more, which is... Really nice. Yeah, this barn is surprisingly just about full. This barn... Also, just about. Ooh, now we're now we're set up in hard winter here. Okay, I think this thing kind of covers this over here. Uh, I think I do want something over here, uh, or I could put it. Yeah, I think I might put it a little further out. All right. Well, at least we know saving works. All right. So we got a winter to survive. And you know, buildings to upgrade. So there's a lot of lot of work that has to be done over the winter. But luckily, winter is the best time to actually do projects like this because there's really nothing else to do for for my people but move around materials and such. So all right, this house is getting upgraded, and we are well on our way here. Uh oh. Hmm? Villager is hungry. Really? Why are you hungry? Maybe maybe you should go eat something hmm. to eat? That might be wise. But you're carrying to storage for reasons I can't can't imagine. What are you what are you doing? Axel, what are you doing? I really wish you could rename him. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hopefully he doesn't die of starvation. Anyway, that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.